Good morning, beautiful people. It is 12 26 2012 at 12 21 p.m. I'm doing this video inside today um, because uh, we've had a really, really good storm come through here this morning. This is the first time I've seen it rain so much here. Um, it's been pretty cons consistent since uh, sunrise. Well, Welcome to day number five of the new Aquarian Age. It's been really interesting to see what's happened with the with the 1221 and then the planetary alignments in them that happened on Christmas Eve and I saw a most beautiful ring um, rainbow around the moon that night. I couldn't actually see the planetary alignment because of the clouds, but I uh, had many people post the pictures of it, and that was quite beautiful. I certainly felt the energies, and I have to say that uh, since we switched years and um, have been increasing in light quotient again, it is literally like wading or swimming through light. And I watched uh, Asha North and her manuscript of survival message this morning saying the same thing it's like we're having a waterfall of of light that's uh incoming right now for our creative uh whatever we wish to manifest yesterday was quite interesting because uh i finally got a chance to really take a look at a lot of the persons who i used to post information from as you know i was so into waking the planet which is part of the planetary evolution part of the you've got to have the geopolitical awakening before you have the the spiritual awakening and uh that's still going on for the majority of the planet and uh it was so interesting to go through and i just don't resonate with any of it anymore um i feel for me that it's I've done what I had intended, and uh, that was to lead as many into Ascension Mastery prior to the shift that we've just now experienced as I could, and to hold the highest light quotient and to keep the vision for the ascension of Mother Earth and the ascension of all of the collective of humanity that's on Mother Earth and to, uh, to connect Mother Earth and humanity to the all that is, not only in this universe, but the multiverse and in all dimensions. And that's my vision. And as I was looking through all the various videos yesterday and finding so few pieces of information that resonated with me, I feel that it's time to just maintain that particular focus. I was watching so many of the persons that have not gone through their personal ascension process and shifting from their, their consciousness from their head and into their heart, still calling on everyone to focus on the Illuminati and focus their energies on bringing the powers that be down. Uh, I just have a different viewpoint on that and uh, and it's rather than focusing on the bad and what they're doing, focus on the good and the other things that we see that's that's beautiful because that joy and that bliss that you have creates the raw energy in your field for the change that you wish to have. During the Gulf oil spill in 2010, from um, April 20th when it happened until the time that I left Ocean Springs, my focused intent was to keep beautiful and pristine the waters that were in front of me. And so there was a, a semicircle, a half dome, half moon that went from Dauphin Island to Bay St. Louis 
and out towards Ship Island in front of me where while I was there and with that focused intent, we had no oil come into that area. We had oil raining on us from the evaporation of the oil because of the cracks into the rains and it would rain oil on us, but the oil never came in in, in the water. And I uh, told everybody on my Facebook page and I told everyone around Ocean Springs where I was living then that that was my intent. And very few people could realize that some individual's intent and their like quotient and the energy that they hold could focus so much key prana, um, life force, magic out into the ocean to do that. Very few people could comprehend that. Now there's many people on this planet who do comprehend that. And I have to say that sooner or later, when we all switch from looking at what is wrong to seeing the beauty of what's right, um, to seeing everything in a pristine way, how that would affect the illusion that we are playing in. Right now, we have so many people on all various levels. There are still many unawakened persons that are in 3D, many going through their geopolitical awakening, which um, uh, is more fourth dimensional, but they're still playing in their heads, and they haven't learned to shift into their hearts yet, which is the ascension. And, um, and as they go through the ascension, they... As they go through their enlightenment, they are going through their empowerment. And um, with that, our you find that our thoughts and our emotions create a reality. And, um, and that joy and that bliss that you have from your enlightenment process, when you focus that, you can create magic and make the shifts and changes around that you wish. But you don't do that by focusing on the dark things. You focus it on the light. And that was a trick I had to learn in 2011 after I was already, um, had gone through my ascension process, the first stages of the ascension process. And that ascension process is ever growing. It, 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 it will never end until you return back to the one, to source. And um, until your consciousness and physical being totally merge with the one, that ascension process continues until that point. But it, um, it was a very difficult thing at first for me to separate my thought and my emotion while I was still focused on waking persons up in the 3D world to what was going on geopolitically without giving the emotion into those things that the Illuminati was doing, um, trying to have their timeline and to depopulate the planet. Those things are not going to happen. And only when persons who are going through their ascension process, going through their geopolitical awakening and going through their um, spiritual awakening only when they finally realize that we have to change our perceptions on the inside can we truly empower the collective to make these changes and to clean up the planet on the outside this is not going to be done with our hands this is not going to be done in the old 3d methods which we are used to um, dealing with we cannot fix the compromised seafloor uh, by, by any technology that we have today. That seafloor that's compromised is over a mile deep. It is leaking and when, will continue leaking until the collective of humanity is awakened and with the minimum critical mass number of persons having a focus on the reparations and bringing back into a pristine alignment of the seafloor. And, um, and that has to be the vision that we hold and the, the love that we have, the light quotient that we have from our fields being focused on that to make that shift. 
And we will shift it. There's no doubt in my mind about it. It's the same thing with Fukushima. We have um, plutonium fuel that's in the MOX fuel that was used in the fuel rods that's strewn all over the areas from the explosion of the reactors in which the reactors were sitting below the, the storage pools which were sitting above. It was the perfect dirty bomb. And so it blew MOX fuel, plutonium fuel, all over the place. And plutonium has a half-life of four and a half billion years. Um, so we don't have anything in technology today to solve that situation. But we will solve it with our thought when enough of us are awakened um, spiritually realizing what's going on and that we create our own re reality we will shift all that now I did listen to Bashar yesterday and he was saying that there's numerous worlds out there and we choose which one we're going to be in and realign ourselves with with every thought and every emotion and every feeling every uh, determination that we have within our life and that's pretty cool because that's that's seven billion timelines right there that's seven billion worlds right there and he says that we just shift out and into the world that um <sighs> that we wish to by what thoughts and emotions that we entertain and what creative powers we decide to use that's pretty cool well each of us that are working on our higher light bodies realize the the power of the energies that we're having that we're experiencing right now and those of us that have been doing this for many years realize the intensity of what we are going through now at what level we're experiencing it on um, I can't say what I'm experiencing is being experienced by persons that are newly awakened right now um, I can't say that they're not I don't know that um, for those of us that went through our light body activation back before uh, the shift that's occurred here in 2012 and especially in December 2012 in these past days um, I can't say that persons newly awakening are feeling the exact same thing I am or are they feeling the stages that I felt three and a half years ago when I began my process of activation well, I hope that they can all jump up, but I also understand that the physical body has to attune to the levels of light and vibration. Otherwise, it's like grabbing a hold of um, high power wires. And when, um, you know, at first it was like grabbing a hold of a, a 110 wire, and then it went to 220, and then it went to 330, 440, and then, you know, it's like grabbing a hold of the power lines that go between cities now or from a nuclear power plant out to the grid that's what it feels like that's within my field i don't know if if persons just now experiencing their activation are feeling that but i cannot say that they're not um anyway that's the raw energy and raw power that's the liquid light that i feel that is the power of creation that i feel within my field oh man they were i listened to benjamin Krim um on coast to coast yesterday and how he was telling everybody they need to keep their focus up in their head uh in their third eye area no, 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 no. That's off balance in today's energies. The balance point is right at the heart level. And you have the divine feminine chakras above and the divine masculine chakras below. And to connect heaven's forces with earth's forces, you need to be in that balance point of the heart. And that's where you activate your heart chakra and start um personally manifesting the light within your field generating that light within your field and so i just wanted to express that <laughs> anyway we're coming up to the end of this video and um wow these energies are incredible coming in um 
Stay in your heart, people. Hold that highest light. Keep your vision and play like kids. Love you all. Bye for now.